Hello guys from um, OGS Mechanics Workshop. Job in today, uh, Citroen, which had um, a vibration on either link, um, also slightly on the load. Um, checked all the engine management side, um, no problem in that respect, engine mounting. And we have concluded uh, that the problem can only come from the dual mass flywheel. Now we have removed the gearbox and uh, we want to show you what we have found. So, this new fly, this, uh, the existing flywheel, dual mass, as those are, they have to have a, a movement left to right and up and down. The thing is on this particular one, the movement is, is very limited. So we have here the new unit, which it has to have a movement left to right and up and down. This movement is very limited. And um, what it happens, because it's a very common problem on the um, dual mass flywheels, uh, the mechanism inside in here gets very worn out and it throw out of balance um, the section that holds the clutch uh, plate. Uh, most of the time is due to the material from the, um, from the clutch that gets into the mechanism and obviously wear and tear, common wear and tear um, on the flywheel. Now what this has caused also, um, this is the, the gearbox, this is the clutch bearing, as you can see a lot of uh, debris, metal debris which is affecting the operation of it. In here, there's a sensor that it should read the position of this magnet. As you can see, it's, it's covered up in, um, in metal debris and also the bearing is apart. Um, normally, the, the, the bearing should be, um, you know, a self-contained mechanism like this. But because of the vibration that he has suffered, um, it has literally uh, broke up the mechanism. Um, again, a lot of uh, particles I can see. And um, we're gonna remove the, um, also the clutch plate where we suspect that we're gonna have a lot of um, dust that um, is also um, causing our problem on the, on the flywheel. The plate is a bit um, stuck on those guides, which is um, which is normal. As you can see already, we've seen yeah a lot of dust coming out. The disc is uh, is a bit worn, but you can see a lot of dust in here, and um, is exactly what I was saying. If you can look in here in the centre. You can see, you can see part of the bush that separates uh, the two parts of the flywheel is coming out, and the wear. So basically, where the way it looks in here, um, you can see that um, it's all nice and uh, and round. By looking here, and you can see how um, the upper the outer section is worn out, rubbing onto the bush. So um, the the now we can see a lot better. So this is, uh, yeah, the, the plate was holding in position and it wasn't allowing us to turn it freely, but we can see now the excess uh, movement on the dual mass flywheel, and this was cause of vibration. If you look inside, we can see even the bolts, um, they've, been, um, uh, they've been affected by this movement on the flywheel. So they are rubbed on, on, on them. The flywheel was rubbing against them and you kind of grind um, the head of them. So um, yeah, this vibration in this case, although you don't have any fault on, on diagnostic machine on everything, uh, but it was concluded that the way that he was doing that um, it came from the dual mass flywheel, a very common um, reason um, for the clutch, uh, faulty clutch operation or um, vibration inside the car. Again, a glimpse in um, OGS mechanics activity. If you like the video, please subscribe, share, if you need assistance, put a comment below. We are here to help. Thank you.